Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Thanks for being with us. 888-900-3393, Pat Unleashed on Twitter, uh, YouTube.com slash Pat Gray on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to all of these things and uh, give us the five-star rating so that others have access and they won't be lost when you're you know, telling them things. I've got something else for them to subscribe to as well. BlazeTV.com. This is the time. Promo code alert for new Blaze subscriptions. Whoop. Is this for Whoop. Blaze oh. TV Whoop. Plus. Oh, right. Yes, Blaze Here TV Plus. See, we got a siren. There are... there you oh, go. there it is. That. Nice. Look at that. Come on now. There it is. <laughs> Only the, of. only the best. There you go. You gotta hold, you gotta hold <laughs> it straight. That's why we need your you have subs- to hold it straight. That's why we need your subscriptions. We can get a new one of these. In fact, don't use the promo code. We'll, we need the extra 30 bucks. <laughs> so get us a new. <laughs> and then let the media. I'll tell you what. Alert. Have you yeah. spent 30 bucks on that? <laughs> <laughs> That's too much. Uh, all right. Anyway, you can get $30 off at blazetv.com when you use the promo code Pat Bingo. 30. Yeah. It's that Pat complicated? Pat Bingo, Bingo 30. 30. Yes. Uh, that offer is good through Wednesday, April 3rd at midnight. It's your $30 off on Blaze TV Plus. Yep. Nice. Uh, your Blaze subscription on the way. Pat Bingo 30 to get $30 off. Bingo. Pat Ray Bingo returns Monday, right? Yes, it does. Uh, Just Two Muck and Punch has been working really hard coming up with bingo cards for us. Uh, it's one of my favorite things. I, I like doing the bingo thing. Uh, so that returns very soon to a uh, broadcast near you. Near you. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, uh, and you can win uh, 30 bucks. You can make your money back. <clears throat> All right. Basically, you win 30 bucks to spend. It won't turn yes. off now. This this The light bulb will not like, look, on, off, it will I'm not. I'm telling you, if there's anybody who can afford the extra $30, bo- dollars, don't use a promo code so we can get a new one of those. <laughs> All right. Thank what you. <laughs> Anyone. Anybody. Hey, what, what? I mean, if anybody can afford just the plain subscription, which is, I don't know what it is. What is it? $120 or something? I don't know. $100? Let me look that up. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't seem like you... Oh, uh, shoot. Uh, internet's down. <laughs> what is it? What? The internet's down. It's fine over here. I don't know what it is. Fine. <laughs> you look it up. All right, I will. Mm-hmm. Are I you doing that? It changed. It, you're doing I, the same I, thing. You're oh, not, not looking a, it up either. I am looking Shame it up. Shame on us for not knowing. <laughs> don't ask a question you don't I know, know the answer to. That's <laughs> one of the absolute somebody rules will, of so, journalism. Somebody will tweet me and tell me the answer. Uh, news broke late yesterday that the Supreme Court... Gave Texas officials permission to detain and jail migrants suspected of crossing the U.S. border uh, without authorization. Greenlighting the enforcement of a state immigration law known as SB4 that the Biden administration has called unconstitutional. Eh, Apparently not. (laughs) Passed by the Texas legislature last year, SB4 criminalizes unauthorized migration (laughs) at the state level making the act of entering the U.S. outside of a port of entry already a federal offense into a state crime as well. <laughs> it also creates felony charges for illegal reentry at the state level. Yeah, it makes so much sense. Why wouldn't you do this? Why wouldn't you? At the request of the Biden administration, a federal judge last month blocked SB4. So then the Supreme Court said, nope, go ahead with it. And then an appeals court blocked it again. <laughs> Jeez. I swear, it never ah! Yeah. So it's on hold again. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how an appeals court could do that to a Supreme Court justice. Well, that's uh, Supreme, judgment. I thought the same thing, but the Supreme Court didn't actually rule on it, right? They just said. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They ruled six yeah, to three, they and did. you had the three to they ruled six well, three. Then, so how yeah. did the appeals they, court? Well, they the can't. It, it was. Yeah. It was. Uh, I don't know, Jeffy. It wasn't like the final one. It was just kind of. Um, uh, uh, the uh, what's the word? It's the uh, injunction. Oh, yeah. so this is just a little brief oh. uh, pause. I know what okay. you're saying. Once they speak, it shouldn't be right. done. Yeah, we're yeah. done. But no, this is. I mean, yeah. it's called Supreme Court for yeah, a they're, reason. They're over you. Yes, <laughs> yes. There's nothing judicially <laughs> but, above the but, Supreme Court. Right, but this case 
wasn't really a case. It was just kind of the injunction yeah, okay. to send it back. And that, so, that but I, it, it will likely end up in an actual full blown case that we can just I would think. once and for all say yes. States and it can looks do like we'll, well win because nobody will cross the border until then. Yeah. In the meantime, <laughs> right? The border's secure. Yeah. Did you see where uh, this illegal immigrant? Um, this is just a, a synopsis here. You're talking about a dumb ruling. U.S. District Judge Sharon Johnson Coleman has ruled that an illegal immigrant's Second Amendment rights were violated when he was charged with unlawfully possessing firearms. Wait, but he's in the country illegally. <laughs> illegally. I don't think the Constitution yeah. should apply to illegal aliens myself, but that's I'm a, old school. That's a weird thing. That is. It's a weird thing. It apparently applies to all people on this continent. And other continents. And other continents. <laughs> and it doesn't for, matter. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Apparently doesn't apply to us, the American no, citizens, half the right. time, however. No, that is not. correct. Did you see where the Dominican Republic has a 12-foot wall? Yeah, they're yeah. building a wall. I mean, that is... Yeah, they it's have already a 12-foot. It's, it's already okay. built, bro. It's already built. It's already built, yeah. and it's got the, Much uh, of it is the already, sensors and everything. Yep, yeah. It's called a smart wall. And it's smart. got... Uh, Drone. Barbed wire at the top. Barbed wires. Night yeah. vision. Night vision. Yeah. Mm. Armed guards. Huh. And the Dominican Republic could uh, afford that? Yeah. It makes you feel safer to go to Haiti for vacation, uh-huh. though. <laughs> it, honestly, it's like you live in the greatest nation to ever exist, and we can't even protect it. But mm-hmm. but the Caribbean, Dominican Republic yeah. can. The DR can. <laughs> oh, my word. And Which, did. And did. I can say it is a crap hole country because I, I oh, lived right whoa. next to it. Oh, wow. So, well, yeah, the Dominican was, was actually... A lot of people used to put that below Haiti for a while. One hundred percent. Yeah, not so I much now. Not so much today. <laughs> uh, but you know, you you got a nation that's trying to protect themselves from the obvious <laughs> scumbags who have from barbecue. They've taken yeah. over. Take it completely they've taken, taken over. over. They've they've allowed criminals out to to get out of prison. But we can't. We can't protect ourselves from them. right. We have to let everybody come here who wants to. You float across on a 67 Ford uh, flatbed <laughs> and you make it to Florida. You're in. Yeah, that's one You're of in. the things. You're in. Congratulations. Yeah, one of the things that uh, Ron DeSantis is struggling with in Florida. Yeah. It's like you want to ship yeah. them back, but you have to fly them and you have to get permissions and stuff like that. And it, what a mess, man. Just it's, it seal is a mess. up our country, please. It is a mess. It's a mess at the southern border. It's a mess in Florida. It's a mess in Haiti. Uh, I, you know, and I, I we're going to have to fix it, right? Who well, else is going to yeah. fix Haiti? I mean, that's <laughs> the, they're already the UN is the saying Clintons. that they need a police force <laughs> and they need, uh, uh, you know, some sort of law to come in. They're just waiting on us. Yeah. Right? Kenya said uh, that they would send uh, like 150 of their police force in. Oh, that well, that so, that'll take care of it. I mean, really, Kenya's going to send 150 yes. people? Yeah, they said they would. <laughs> And, I didn't uh, see that. There was a, and the Bahamas said they would send like fifty. <laughs> so <laughs> once it's Kenya be gets solved. involved, fix Kenya and Bahamas. I mean, Haitian is good. You're, yeah. if you, you can move back to Haiti. Yeah, everything's airtight <laughs> in Kenya. We know that. <laughs> I mean, that's nice of them. It is nice of them. Yeah, it's nice they care enough to offer at least. Yeah, more Thank than you. the Biden administration does. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. I haven't even heard them really talk about it. They they don't even bring it up, really. No way. It's so, like it doesn't exist. I guess they've just ceded Haiti to barbecue. You know, the barbecue gang leader. I mean, I guess so. Yeah. That's ugly. It Yes, I mean, very seriously, ugly. Seriously, it's ugly. Very ugly. Uh, yesterday aboard Air Force One, KJP was asked about a phone call President Biden had with former President Barack Obama the other night mm. after that surprise trip Barack took to Britain. When was the last time President Biden and President Obama spoke? Um, I don't have a call to read out to all of you, but as you know, they're close. They're like family. They speak regularly. Oh, please. Uh, and um, I just don't have anything, don't have anything else to share. Got nothing else to share. They're family. Close. Nothing else to share. They're like family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like when he endorsed you for... Pre- oh, no, no, wait. wait. No, no. no, no, no. That's right. He oh, didn't. He didn't, he didn't he endorse did. you for president. That's awesome. That's so great. Yeah, but... Biden asked him not yeah, to. Yeah, that's correct. In fairness. Uh, that's what he said. <laughs> Joe asked him that's not to. That's what he to. said at the train station. Hey, hey, you know what? That would be too unfair uh, to my competitors. Please don't endorse me. <laughs> no. Can't have that. I want to win this that. thing fair and, fair and square. square. Yeah. yeah. 
right. Uh, allergies and whatnot. Huh. It is that season. It is. Uh, she was also asked about the suddenly spiking gas prices. The president has done everything that he can to deal with to, to deal with oil. Obviously, lowering down, lowering the actions that he took uh, <laughs> led to lowering gas prices. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about, woman? What? There we go. Look at that, huh? So nationally, it's three forty six. Yeah. A week ago, it was three thirty nine. Month ago, three twenty six. I mean, the cheapest here now <sighs> is three oh nine, and I oh. and it was three thirty nine at the regular gas stations that I pass in the morning. I made the mistake mm. of needing gas desperately yesterday in South Lake. Mm. And so oh, at three forty probably. At three fifty nine. Oh hello. So don't yeah. don't uh yeah. don't run hello. out of gas in yeah. South Lake, Texas. No, it's expensive there. Uh but it's worth it because it's bougie gas. <laughs> I see. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised they let you pull up and get gas, Keith, to be honest. Well, uh, I had to negotiate. It was, it was touch and have, go. If you have anything less than a Maserati, sometimes they just turn you away. <laughs> Sorry. You. No, yeah, the alarm it. goes off. Beat it. Uh, Keep driving. Keep pump driving. Pump number two, you're not allowed here. Get out. <laughs> whoop, whoop, yeah, whoop. It's about like Ford that. Escort. Pump six. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Effectively, yeah. That's kind of how it went. You walk into yeah. the building, they'll tow that thing out. <laughs> Seriously, we've lived all over the country. I've never seen anything uh, I know. as far as luxury is concerned. I know. Like South Lake, Texas. Uh, that's for sure. It's incredible. Seriously, I don't think you can live in the city without luxury vehicles. You can't. I don't. Yeah. You, you can't you can. own just a normal vehicle. Nobody has like a Nissan. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> it's not like, even the kids. I know. You drive by right. the high schools. There's right. Teslas. Yes. They're all Teslas parked <laughs> right. in the lot. <laughs> Jeffy's right though, man. You can't leave your car in South Lake. It will no, get they'll towed. tow it. They'll tow it. That's how the tow it's truck like, companies look, make money. You're, you're allowed Lake. to sit at the red light, but as soon yep. as that thing turns green, you better get Yo, out of this yeah. town. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> you can barely stop at the red light. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh, all right, so let's take. Well, we just did take a look at the gas prices. I, you know, I, I have to buy the, the. Oh, up, we know. The, we, yeah, we got it. <laughs> we so know. Yeah, we it's like it. four dollars a gallon again. Yeah, you know, it's outrageous. I, was, I, I, I seriously was I, I, this morning. I was like three oh nine at the at the cheap place, and then I see the three thirty nine. Yeah. At the at the I racetrack, know. and I'm like, crazy. What is happening? Mm-hmm. And why? Why is it because we're getting we're getting close to driving season? I guess. I, I guess. If it's like this now, just wait till after Memorial Day. Then what is it going to be? But you know what? In a way, uh, as long as you know you can still feed your family, it's almost a good thing because you can use it against Biden, <laughs> right? Well, yes. I mean, you're going to start seeing those is, those stickers show up again mm-hmm, too. But as long as you can feed your family. As long as you can feed your family. Yes. Here, uh... But the problem is. Same thing's happening at the grocery store. Yes. So you can't feed your There's, family. What is, so it's not a good thing. What but, is there that's not expensive? Uh, and I'm, not, I'm not being wow. funny. I'm just I'm asking. No, I, know. I don't know. No, I think pretty I mean, much everything every, it is. Feel, it feels, and I, you know, again, I, it could be wrong, but it feels like every time I turn around, what we're purchasing costs more. Yeah. A thousand times more than it ever did. There's no question. That's really true. Yeah. Uh, So Biden left the White House early yesterday morning uh, and gave us the fabulous stupid jog thing again. Okay, there's something about the grass in in the path here that makes him do this. Trips him up. Does he think he's stepping up? What is happening right here? It's always the same place. Yeah, I don't. He did the same thing last week. Something with his are those, brain. Are those are, so are those weird. Are those your new shoes? Oh, I don't know. I don't think they are. Now this cuts off. I don't maybe know. They are. Does yeah, he remember guess, to salute the Marine? See, yeah, I have no idea. He's got the wide bottom. Wide bottom. Up. Marines, Marines saluting yeah. him now. Oh, yeah, it doesn't off. look like it. Oh, they stop a... it. Yeah, he gets it at the stairs. Leave him alone. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Biden apologist. Thank you for that. Come on, man. I appreciate that. Uh, show it again, because it's just such a bizarre phenomenon. Yeah, let's look out those shoes. Is it just too. us? I, think... I. Why does he have to no, do it this is not, every time? No, it's not just us. It's been five minutes on social media. You'll see it's everywhere. People pointing out his stupid job. Oh, there it is. Uh, oh, a little, little skip thing. on the grass. Yeah. yeah. Unless he just tripped. 
and he's trying now, to cover which it. Which is possible. A distinct possibility. But he's got the, I guess, I think those are the new Hoka's that he's wearing. Those, are they? I the $300 so. dollar yeah, Hoka's? The, the, the quick toggle Good for race. Him. Quick toggle. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Uh, he looks just as stupid going backward as he does, yes, he does. going forward. <laughs> <It does not>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's so unsteady. Oh, man. He could fall at any moment. Any, well, any show, him, show him getting on the plane. Let's go to the next clip. Mm, okay. All right. There's Mr. Smooth. Mm. There's a salute. Uh, okay. Yep, he did it that time. And oh, whoa. Whoa. short stairs, too. Yeah. Jeez. The wind. No, oh, it's the wind. Oh, the wind oh, is too yeah. heavy. Okay. Yeah. Maybe the sun was in his eyes. Sun was in his bit. eyes. Mm-hmm. And he has a stutter problem, guys. That. Remember, a he lifelong stuttering problem. Stuttering yeah. problem. Yeah. <laughs> so he has the stutter step. Okay. So, so thank you. He's got the stutter <laughs> thank step. You. Yeah. He's got the stutter <laughs> thank step. You. He almost tripped stutter going speech. up the stairs yesterday. Yeah. And what was the big anniversary yesterday, Chris Cruz? The anniversary of him falling down the stairs. Well, up the stairs four times. <laughs> oh, it oh, was. Nice. Yeah. Happy anniversary. He almost celebrated it with a new fall. Oh. Oh, Two. oh no. no. Oh. Three. Oh. Wow, that what last is... one hurt. That sure ah. did. Yep, that left a mark. Oh. That sure did. That was six months that showed up on his shin. Happy anniversary. So it's been a year? It's been a year. Yeah. Three years. Three years. years. Three okay. years since that happened. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's been three, three years? years? Yeah, we've been in this hell for that long. Correct. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, Happy anniversary. Wow. That's why I asked. It was a, it, I thought it was, wow. I really did think it was a year. So did I. Three years. Three years. Okay, so there was some question, wow. right? Uh, uh, we the, the footage cut off, and I looked everywhere for it to see if he saluted that Marine. Mm-hmm. I want you to see what he did when he landed in Reno. <laughs> what are you? What happened? He's oh, saluting he's this kid. Nice. Okay, Jeffy. He's just he's like, being nice I, I feel like I girl. have a salute that I was supposed to give at some point today. <laughs> Is it you, little girl? <laughs> Come on. He's just being nice. He's the president. Uh, be nice. Leave first of all. Leave him first alone. First of all. <laughs> it was good to see him. He was in my hometown this weekend, too. Oh, oh yeah. He was walking around Saginaw, Michigan. Yeah. Where, where is Saginaw in Michigan? Which I mean, it's right there. Right it's right Tri Cities, Saginaw, Bay City, Midland. Yeah. On the hand map, it would be about here. <laughs> a little closer to the bay. Uh, area, okay. Right. All right. Closer to the bay. <laughs> All right. You already know about uh, Sierra Whiskey Company, the folks that brought you under tack, the revolutionary boxers that are really changing the game. They just unveiled a whole bunch of new products. Right now, they offer socks and joggers and T-shirts, sweatshirts, all of them made in America and embody the same rugged spirit you come to expect from under tack. Their socks are made of battle weave wool, which is five times stronger than Merino. Their ring spun Cotton hoodies and joggers are dangerously comfortable. Every Patriot needs the EDC t-shirt three-pack, too. Remember, Undertack isn't your typical men's boxers. They're made with Modal, which you can think of like cotton. It's just way better. 50% more moisture-wicking, antibacterial, and way softer. They stay in place. They've got a really sturdy but comfortable extra-wide waistband. They've got uh, a great fly design. Undertack, it's durable, ultra-light, Fade resistant and shrink resistant. And if that's not enough, they also donate a portion of their profits to organizations actively in the fight against human trafficking. So stock up your drawers today. Undertack.com. That's undertack, under T-A-C.com. Get 20% off site wide when you use my offer code PAT20. You're going to get great comfort, twice the guarantee at a fraction of the price. Undertack.com. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. And while he was in Reno yesterday, he was apparently ready to fight for something, uh, I guess. <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, here he is. Our president is in the ring. He's, He's in, in the, the ring. ring. He's in the ring. <laughs> just, just, just think about Everything he does is He's awkward. He's in the ring. Eh. <laughs> 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 Nice. Oh, man. I kind of wanted to put that footage back to back with Mike Tyson getting ready for his bout, but. Uh, Not a joke. I resisted. Yeah. 
Do we have the? I, I didn't look, but do we have the time when he went over and uh, hunted down the little baby? Uh, I don't know. Uh, and, and when he was in uh, what, yesterday, because his uh, Chris is looking for it. His uh, campaign manager, who I had forgotten, was Julia Chavez Rodriguez, mm-hmm. the granddaughter of Caesar Chavez. Oh, um, mm-hmm. it was about a minute into her opening remarks, and he was on the stage, and he just left the stage and went and sat with this little. Yeah, girl he couldn't resist. Baby. Couldn't resist. Yeah, uh, yeah. There couldn't was a baby resi- in the audience, and he had to go there. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> He's just the weirdest, what, most awkward human being. Uh, no question about it. What's good though is that, just as a side note, uh, you know, I was teasing about him wandering around uh, my hometown of Saginaw, but he's coming to Dallas today. Oh, yay. Yay! <laughs> right? Where can I go to see him? Right? Wow. So he's going to land at DFW about 525 mm. this afternoon. Okay. That won't hold up traffic at all. No, not at all. Wow. At Way all. to land at rush hour, old man. Mm. And so then he's going to, and he's spending the night. Oh. He's spending, he's going to mm. a couple of different campaign receptions around Dallas. Mm-hmm. And then he's spending the night leaving tomorrow morning uh, after rush hour, they said. Just after rush hour. Mm. Okay. Cool. That's great. Like that. They say where he's staying? Probably not. No. Probably not. No, probably not. (laughs) (laughs) I called every place. Nobody nobody Nobody, said. Nobody knew. Nobody said. Is the president staying here? Well, what a treat. I know. He's visiting Dallas That's the first time that uh, the president has landed at DFW. Well, not that whole JFK thing. Uh, since no. Obama. Obama. Okay. okay. Oh, Trump never land, landed in no, Dallas? No, Trump, Trump landed at the military base, I think. And, oh. may, and I think maybe he was at Love huh. once or twice, but he never landed at DFW. That's weird. I know. So Love can handle Air Force One? Uh, I, I, hmm. I think, I actually think he was only, he only landed at that military base. Hmm. I don't know that he ever landed certainly at Love. came to Dallas, right? Certainly he came to Texas. Yeah. Yeah, I would yeah, think. I remember him once coming to Dallas, and that was the <clears> military <throat> base. He may have gone to the Love Field, uh, and then, but I mean, DFW is only the busiest airport. So let's just slow it down for the president. Well, it's one of the maybe the busiest in America right now since the uh, pandemic. It's it, for a while. Oh, no, it was all. It was the most busy airport in the world. Yeah, for a time. Uh, it's still like top five. Uh, so yeah, he's going to tie things up. That would be great, but it won't be as bad as it is in Manhattan because you know Dallas oh, is a thousand times bigger than Manhattan. Still, though, that, but man, does that screw things drive, up when he shows up? Where we drive, it's going to be a nightmare. It is. Yeah, it's going to be bad. Uh, and today's a long day, so that we got that going for us. We can be yeah. right in the midst yeah. of all of that traffic. So that'll be fun. Uh, he also lied about a Trump quote that again has been thoroughly debunked. Uh, but here he is. Well, you know, uh, this is a guy who said when he wouldn't go up to visit a cemetery, a veteran's no. head, oh, a bunch of my gosh. Jeez, man. And suckers. No. My son was one of those losers and suckers. There we go. No. Oh. You know, it's just... Uh, no, Joe. I just, I, I, I've, not, I've never heard a president say the things that this guy has said. No, he didn't. That's because he those didn't say it either. Those aren't the new shoes either. Mm. Those are dress shoes he's wearing. Okay. He could fall at any time. It's high risk, man. He, he, he high could risk. fall at any time. He should be wearing the mm-hmm. he should be wearing the possible slip and fall bracelet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he should. Okay, that's despicable. It that, sure is. That supposed thing that he said at Normandy, what? Seven years ago that's or something. Been. And completely debunked by everybody who was there and said, No, he did not say that. No, he did not say that. He didn't call them suckers. Unbelievable. It sure is. And he just keeps repeating the same old lies. They don't care at all. These are uh, just evil people. That's why it pisses me off so much when I keep hearing people talk about what a good man he is. (laughs) Mm, No. No. Mm, No. Now, he did say, I mean, the one thing he did say, I remember saving uh, the one thing that he did say where he talked about... on stage that I thought, well, I agree with that. Well, we might have it. We have Mm. several more clips. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, Here he is talking about nostalgia or something. Trump lost millions of jobs, millions when he was president. (laughs) It's amazing how the nostalgia for a lost four years was. I remember. What Gosh was that sakes. comment? Oh Nostalgia my God. for what? lost four years. <laughs> was. <laughs> what? <laughs> Brilliantly phrased, as usual. Brilliantly phrased. Kate, he 
continues to do this pandemic thing. And by the way, a lot of those jobs went away when he was president too and came back finally when the pandemic lightened up. I, I can't. I just... Oh. <laughs> I'm with you, bro. Oh, man. Should we, I mean, should there be a moratorium on Joe Biden clips? I mean, you know how we didn't play him on Glenn uh, yeah. for Barack Obama for a while? I mean, are we at that point? Because it's just meanderings of an old man oh, he's so bad. tripping and repeating himself. Over and over I mean, we have to make over. sure that the information gets out there, but boy. But his handlers realize how badly he sucks, too. Okay. Yes, and that's they why they, they cut him off. They cut him short yesterday. <laughs> I'm, I'm going on too long. I apologize. But... <laughs> that was amazing. Time to go. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Time to go. That's okay. exactly what we we're said yesterday. It, it was like we, he needs the Academy music. And that's awesome. <laughs> that's Do so that again, great. Joe. That's awesome. Uh, that's I love the look awesome. on his face. He's stunned. <laughs> I'm, I'm going on too long. I apologize. Yep. But... <laughs> yeah. Get out. That pissed him off. Look it at did. That. He's not happy about no, that. No, oh, he was not. And we have a story about how pissed off he is getting. Oh, boy. Coming up later. He uh, also had this to say about about cities yesterday. Okay. If I, if we, get, we, we drove out to the airport and put you on Air Force One. He said you had a prescription you needed filled, and it was an American company that made it. I'd say, okay, let's go to let's fly to Toronto or to oh. Berlin or to London or to. Rome or any major city in America. Wait. I'll get you that same prescription filled in those cities for 40 to 60 percent less than it cost you at a pharmacy here. Uh, hmm. Toronto, Rome, mm -hmm. Berlin, yeah, cities in America. Any of those cities. And American. In America. And American uh, pharmaceuticals are going to be 60 percent less in those cities. Is that what he's saying? <laughs> I don't know okay. what he's saying. Who cares? Ugh. A, that is interesting. It is. It is interesting. I mean, they are paying for the R&D. The research and development of these drugs is not cheap. And, you know, we do And they said, well, we that pay bill. for that. Yes, yeah, we, we do. pay for that. Um, and maybe they don't in Berlin and Rome. But he was trying to say also in any major American city. So I don't know what, I don't know that he knows what he was saying. No. So it's impossible for us to know what he's saying. Yeah, run that back one more time. Yeah. Let's see if we can decipher it. If I... If we, get, we drove out to the airport and put you on Air Force One. You said you had a prescription you needed filled, and it was an American company that made it. I'd say, okay, let's go to let's fly to Toronto, or to Berlin, or to London, or to Rome, or any major city in America. I'll get oh, you that oh, same Lord, prescription filled in those cities. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. That's what I'm saying. It's important. Or to any he's major city, city in, in America. America. What? Yeah, he. Oh, what a buffoon. He just got a little confused. Absolute buffoon. He just got a little confused. Sure. Okay. Did he? <laughs> he got a little confused. Okay. okay. We have the baby video that <laughs> Jeffy was requesting. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, where he just walks off stage? Yeah. Okay. In the middle much. of us. We have made Chavez's so much speech. progress together, oh. but we know that there is still oh, work she's to She's introducing him. Which That's is really why she's we are introducing going to him. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. She's, she's introducing off. him. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is just flat out rude. Uh, old man. He's but there was a baby his right brother. there. There was a little baby. He had to and, get to the little I mean, baby. Two of the things that, that we mm. referred to yesterday as getting him off the stage, mm -hmm. the Academy music playing, that oh. was employed yesterday. Right. Showing him a young child off stage, yep. that was yeah. employed. That in fact, it. I didn't send the video in where he walked up to this little girl. I mean, the girls know. The little girls know. Oh, they start backing up the yeah, second he spots like, them. They're eh, like, whoa. Stranger danger. Whoa. Uh -uh, old man. I don't like this. Uh, where's this my mom? Is, my dad? Somebody help me here. Guys help me. Creep. Help yep. me. <laughs> they know they're in trouble mm. the second he spots them. <laughs> God, and man. if you remember correctly, it's been three or four years when he got into trouble for, for sniffing yeah. little girls and whatever. Said he was going to try to and stop And they it, said, right? look, it's not appropriate. You need to stop doing that. Mm -hmm. And he even said, yeah, I need to stop doing that. Um, and so can't I'm going to do And he keeps doing it. Can't help himself. He, he can't help himself. He can't. <laughs> One of the things he said yesterday Man. was that uh, Trump, he said, uh, I and Trump have different value sets. Oh, that's for sure. That's for sure. I yeah. do agree with that, Joe. Yeah, I do too. I do one loves that. the country, one hates it. Mm-hmm. Ah, man, oh man. All right. Uh, there's <laughs> much more, and uh, we'll chew the fat All right. uh, coming up awesome. here in a minute uh, with Jeffy, which should be interesting.
Uh, that was of course a, it's going to be interesting. Why that, that, be interesting? Of course it's going to be was interesting. That was quite the endorsement there from Pat you, for your why segment. Are we even... <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's always interesting. Wow. So I'm just saying, if that trend holds true today, it will be again. Don't. That's all. Just that, don't. That's, that's just all. Don't. I ain't seen nothing yet. Pat Gray Unleashed. Great to have you with us. A few tweets here before we get to chewing the fat. Uh, Bronco Nagurski Fan Club tweets, Texas needs to just take a page out of the other side's playbook and simply ignore the lower court trying to block SB4. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> not radically opposed to that. No, I'm not. The deplorable Mr. Jack Wagon. It's too bad Dominican Republic spent all that money on the wall. Who's going to tell them walls don't work? That's what we hear. <laughs> That's what we hear. <laughs> it's amazing how well they work for not working, though. It is. You know, in, is. in uh, Israel, they built that wall between them and the Palestinians. You know how much that cut back on the terror strikes that they... Remember when... Yeah. I mean, in the early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s, we were hearing about people blowing up in buses, yep. at schools, there were rockets, in there restaurants. There rocket launches going off in all, all the, the cities. time. Yep. It was happening all the time. It cut back on terror strikes 95%. Just putting up the wall. Yep. So, walls do work. Jeffy's nuggets of knowledge, <laughs> uh, those are teeny, tiny little things, but thanks for bringing it up. Uh, we need a oh, wall like the one between Gaza deal. and Egypt. The one with a crap ton of razor wire mm-hmm. and make it tall and deep. Yeah. The one between Gaza and Egypt is impressive, and nobody penetrates it. It's pretty amazing. Mother Stink Eye, getting close to $4 a gallon in South Central Pennsylvania. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Sarah the Roma, must be nice to be Biden and be able to afford $300 tennis shoes while Americans can't even afford to put food on their table. Yeah. And what the, there's nothing he can do about the gas prices now, right? He's already depleted our reserves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean they're talking about how which they claim they're refilling. I was just going to say I saw the headline this morning saying that mm-hmm. they were going to uh, fill it back up again. Yeah, really? Yeah. What stopped you? What's right. been stopping you? I uh, remember Congress stopped Trump from mm-hmm. doing that when it was uh, at its lowest point during 2020, and he tried to let's top this baby off while the gas is che- while the oil's cheap, and Congress is like, nah, I don't think we're going to do it right now. Jeez. I mean, it's lower now than ever. Uh, yeah, the I'm talking reserve? about the price. No, I, I, right, but you're talking mm-hmm. about the reserve itself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And thank you, Joe Biden. I mean, that mm-hmm. that's all KJP was talking about in her stupid thing was like, he's done everything he can do to, to lower the cost. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. No. That's all he's done, and that's not <laughs> no all you can do. You know what would lower the cost is if we drill for oil. <laughs> Try that. Try doing that's an that. Idea. Yeah. Uh, all right, we have another AI chewing the fat theme. Okay, this is these are fun. Uh, this is from Pathead Fury and Energy. Yeah, he's he got a collection of these things. Let's see. He's not postmaster general, nor the pope. <laughs> Nice. 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 See, that's audience participation. That's really good. That's, that's, that's really that's good. Really good. Yeah. I like that. You know, we had audience participation as well from Rowdy Introvert with, uh, oh. you know, his little, uh, the toxic kitty in Japan. Oh, yeah. You had the story last and week. And he sent this picture in, and I'm like, do better. That's <laughs> not a, what, what do we even, I mean, I appreciate the audience participation. Yeah, he was, but. I think he was saying that there were some problems at the McDonald's, and there's probably the huh. toxic kitty that showed up. You're saying you don't like that picture necessarily? I'm just saying do better. <laughs> That's what? Saying. That's good. Uh, is, it, is it though? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay. It is. Okay. Uh, All right. Well, you better. you thank him then. It's officially <laughs> spring. 
It's officially spring. The yeah. old vernal equinox happened at 11.06 p.m. Eastern last night. Yeah. So happy springtime. Mm-hmm. Yay. Yay. I, <laughs> winter was not. There, was there a winter? I mean, well, for about two weeks. Four days. Yeah. And I thought, look, they're talking about having winter up north again. Uh, yeah, the northeast is getting, getting bad. slammed the next few days. I thought the, uh, I thought the Pennsylvania rat. Said it was going to be an early spring. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that's right. Uh, so much for global okay. warming, too. Mm-hmm. I know it's March Madness as well, but uh, yesterday ESPN retained exclusive worldwide rights to all rounds of the expanded college football playoff through 2031 32 season. Uh, the college football playoff officially announced the extension in a deal worth an average $1.3 billion a year. Wow. So, mm. congratulations mm. to ESPN and the college football playoff. Mm. Did you see Major League Baseball has started officially right now? Opening day? Opening day in uh, South Korea. Dodgers and Padres are playing as we speak. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's great. Yeah. I'm excited. Eight months from now, let me know when we get to the playoffs. <laughs> 162 games later. No, I know. I know. I love baseball, but just. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it shows. It's a long, long season. Man. Long season. Yeah. Uh, more good news from the sports world. Uh, sports Illustrated, you can quit uh, whining about it now. Their print edition is going to live on. So you're going to be Phew. able to get the Sports Illustrated That's magazine. I know. Wow. Good. I know. Ten years, at least for the next ten years. Really? You'll be able to get it. Yeah. Wow. Digital sports <clears throat> media company Minute Media has agreed to partner with Sports Illustrated, overseeing all editorial operations across its digital and print platforms for ten years, possible extension to 20. Uh, and they didn't release any of the financial terms. I mean, it's been a rough year for Sports Illustrated anyway. They had... Uh, uh, the Arena Group had uh, their publishing rights to the 70-year-old publication from Authentic <laughs> Brands ousted because of the AI uh, stories that they were running. Then they had mass layoffs because they failed to make a licensing payment. And so everybody, everything thought it was going to be over in May. And now this Minute Media, which uh, owns the Players' Tribune and Fan Sided, are going to do uh, you know the print edition and broaden Sports Illustrated it's global presence. So, good luck. Mm-hmm. Good luck. Uh, more good news in sports continues. Business in sports. Olympic Village director Laurent Michaud revealed uh, in an interview this weekend that uh, the 2024 Paris Games will have at least 300 condoms available for the uh, 14,250 athletes staying in their quarters. 300,000, right? It was yeah. 300,000 condoms. What did I say? You said 300. Oh, yeah, 300,000. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 300. <laughs> That's a day. Yeah. Uh, Not even hand- that, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 300,000 at... Uh, 14,000, that's like 21 a person, right? So you get, uh, it should hold up okay. Mm, maybe. So if we up. put the 18 mm-hmm. minutes Thank together you. along with the 7 minutes together, you got 22 minutes, you sell it with 8 minutes of <laughs> ads, you got 30 minutes. So that reverses their policy from the 2020 Olympics um, when they still handed out condoms, by the way, mm-hmm. but they had banned the intimacy uh, on the athletes due to the COVID pandemic, of course. <laughs> mm-hmm. And the athletes were asked to limit their physical contact with each other and to keep distance of six and a half feet apart. I'm sure they to did stop too. the spread. Right. I'm sure that they all abided by that rule. <laughs> I mean, condoms have been a big deal since, I don't know, 88 when they ordered uh, a lot more than 300,000, I think. So there's uh, no champagne in the village. Kind of a bummer. Now uh, the, he said that they're going to have more than 350 meters of buffet with world food. Mm. So I mean I don't know is that wow is that like a little table I don't or is know that a it could card be three table? inches it could be three miles I don't know <laughs> nobody knows there's no and, way to tell and we got a tour of the athletes' quarters uh, they don't necessarily scream business but hey it's all you need uh, twin beds <laughs> shelves a small balcony mm. and looking out onto the city of love wow oh yeah there's no way. Any of the superstars are staying in something like that. You know, they're getting their own place. Look at that. This is Olympics. Yeah, I know. What are you I'm talking not, about? I'm not staying there. Sorry. No. You'll stay there. as If nope. you want to be an Olympic athlete, you're <laughs> no. going to stay there. I'll tell you no. that right now. Not staying there. No. Nope. Getting myself a hotel room <laughs> in Paris. So...
Uh, you're not getting as an you Olympic know, athlete. You don't get paid. You don't have any money. That's where you're staying. <laughs> what is this? 1922. Okay. It's an Olympic <laughs> athlete. You don't get paid. Okay. <laughs> so the Olympics start July 26th in Paris, right? Uh, okay. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Sounds right. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to it. Just follow him on social media. Mm-hmm. See who's uh, see who's. Take care of a little Olympic business. Uh, this episode of Chewing the Fat on Pat Gray Unleashed uh, brought to you by Kexi Cookies. Uh, <laughs> nice. Find out more by uh, going to Kexi.com. You can get your Winnie the Pooh Easter cookie box. Oh, Blue, oh you even have a picture of blueberry, it. Blueberry, nice. lemon, chocolate. Mm. You're a sponsor. They're the, of the, spon- uh, right. they're chocolate the chief chip, sponsor. Creme brulee, <laughs> sugar, lemon, turtle, carrot, cheesecake. Available exclusively. At mm-hmm. Kexi.com. Is there a promo mm-hmm. code or that I'm missing? or is mm-hmm. No, there's no promo code. No. no just go to but Kexi.com. You, you want to get that. Those boxes sell out really fast. The specialty boxes, uh, they're gone like in just days. So yeah, I wanted to bring a picture. One, I, I wanted to bring a picture of it because yesterday you had the real one. Oh, no. Yeah. I was going to yeah. say, yeah. Oh, I did. No. So the audience day. was able to see it. They oh, it was yeah. cookie day. It was cookie day yesterday. You know, so. It was cookie day yesterday. You should have been up here. Interesting. So you didn't come in. It's interesting. Weird. Uh, yesterday was cookie day. Hold hmm. on. He came just in saying, last I'm Monday for the taste saying. test. He right. missed yesterday. I think the trick mm-hmm. is you're going to have to start coming in every Monday, I think, is where we're at. I did this story yesterday on Chewing the Fat, my daily show, which you can subscribe to uh chewing the fat any platform that you listen to your podcast on chewing the fat with jeff fisher uh, i'm still a little angry at this and i know this has been going on over in europe uh <laughs> but uh, now it's happening here and I don't, I don't like it uh six teenagers have been charged for a snapchat oh, yeah. group chat saw that so according to the They're hampton charged district with the hate attorney crime, right the group chat in question featured Man. appalling language and behavior. Appalling including language. Including a mock slave auction and derogatory remarks aimed at people of color. So? <laughs> I mean, I, it's not nice. No, I get it. I don't encourage them to do that. And they keep you saying. you can't charge I, them. And they keep saying hatred Unreal. and racism have no place um, in this community. I got it. We are I got right, it. We right. all don't. I agree. Blah, blah, but it's blah. not a crime. Apparently, free speech has no place in so that community So the existence either. of the group chat and the comments uh, made were first reported to the school authorities of this Southwick Regional School. Mm-hmm. Upon learning about that group chat, uh, the district attorney notified the Massachusetts State Police Detective Unit to launch an investigation. What? Then he authorized the detective unit and the chief of the juvenile court unit to pursue criminal charges against the involved students. Oh, my goodness. The charges mm-hmm. levied against the six students uh, between the ages of 13 and 14 include threats to commit a crime. Mm. Two of them are facing additional charges for interference with civil rights in a group chat. One additional child is facing a witness interference charge. Well, that means he talked to his friends about not talking to the cops. Well, if there's no charges, you can't have witness interference charges. But Mm -hmm. I digress. He went on to say that he will ensure that we act and act with swift swift Mm. resolve, as we did here, to uncover it and bring it to the light of justice. Not America. There's no question that the alleged behavior of these six juveniles is vile, cruel, and contemptible. So what? It's still not a crime. Right. Right. I'm so. It's unbelievable to me. So Words this, are not crimes. This group chat is just a digital version of if they had had a conversation offline like That's this. That's correct. That you're just you're 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 policing speech. I don't care outside of what school. Even. The group chat said, "I don't care." The texting chats, no matter how appalling they are, it's right. not a crime. Right. It's not, it's not a crime. It's dangerous. Right. Dangerous stuff. I I may, and I'll live. They all got suspended uh, from school, and I'm, that kind of irks me a little too. But I'll live with that. Mm-hmm. But not the whole being charged with crime. Well, the- if it didn't happen on school grounds or school time or on school property uh, or on a school website, they shouldn't even be sus- suspended from school. I mean, it just is. Un- it's unconscionable. I, I can't it's believe un-American. It. I can't believe mm-hmm. it. It can't happen. And yet. It is. It's happening. I know. Wow. I know. <sighs> a way. It's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Yeah. We can, really bad. Don't check my texts. <laughs> Do not check my text. I'll tell you that. Man, mm. I mean, it's just bad, bad, bad. And bad. and this is gonna just this is we're gonna look back at this mm. story. I fear 
because of whatever they have planned for us down the line. Like, what is going to mm-hmm. be the definition of hate speech? What is going to be the definition of something they can crack down on? Oh, look, we have mm-hmm. this precedent uh, in this country when these uh, kids in this group chat uh, were vile and vicious and whatever. Well, Keith, I want to just tell you that it, uh, this has no place in the community. Uh, these, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. these this this bad talk. What was yeah. the? Uh, I got it. I think that's the legal uh, definition. It's bad talk. <laughs> hatred and racism have no place yeah. in this community, and I yeah. I, I, I I agree. I do too. I, I do too. It's insane. And yeah, free speech has no place in that community either. <laughs> Let's keep that in mind. Uh, so that's good. Well, I mean, we heard from the Supreme Court justice uh, yesterday, yeah. right? Yeah, that, that's hampering. Yeah, it's hampering the government. I hate that. Yeah, man. you don't want the government hampered. No, you don't. <laughs> You do not want the government hampered. Jeez. You want them to have free reign with their citizens and do whatever they want to them. That's what you want. That, don't, thank you. Don't thank get between you. the government and the oppression of the people. You don't want to do that. No, 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 no. Uh, Amazon uh, streaming service bringing on uh, YouTube's most followed creator, Mr. Beast, hmm. the 25 year old stunt philanthropist uh behind uh you know survive 100 days trapped win 500,000 and a thousand <laughs> blind people see for the first time jimmy donaldson sorry mr beast uh mm-hmm. just inked a deal with uh, amazon and mgm studios to host and executive produce beast games for prime video mm. uh so i mean he already did his own real life squid game in 2021 uh. That only got like 588 million views or so on YouTube. That's it. What so, a loser. I know. Because <laughs> I guess that makes him qualified. Okay. Uh, so there's no release date yet on Beast Games, but it will pit 1,000 people against each other for a $5 million grand prize. Jeez. So uh, they claim that it's the largest uh, wow. grand prize in television and streaming history. So good luck to uh, Amazon and Mr. Beast. I mean... It's amazing what he it sure is what he does uh, the the amount of money he gives away he said that one of his goals is to prove that uh, youtubers and creators can succeed on other platforms mm. and it's tough for influencers to pivot to hollywood but he's well, he's in a pretty good place mm-hmm. i mean in between june of 2022 and june of 2023 it's reported that he made 82 million dollars 82 million in that year mm. uh, that's mm-hmm. not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. You probably make ends meet on that. He has 245 million uh, subscribers on YouTube. That's just under what Chewing the Fat with Jeff Fisher has. I'm not sure what Pat Gray on Leash has, but mm. it's, it's nowhere near. It's nowhere near Pat Gray on Leash. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Yeah. That's why I didn't want to say anything. Yeah, yeah. And then he has, uh, <laughs> he's got uh, 29 million on X, 51.3 million on Instagram, 17 million. To- he spits at Facebook with 17 million. Jeez. But that 245 million on YouTube. Man, that's a lot. That's that's not bad. No, that is not. Carved out a little Congratulations. Uh, little bit of a business for himself. No doubt about it. <laughs> All right, more coming up. In just a minute or two. Pat Gray unleashed. Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Thanks for being with us. 888-900-3393. Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Oh, I guess we have an issue with uh, Pluto this morning. Yeah, it looks that way. Do we have the picture, Pluto, guys? Pluto TV. Ooh. This is what you see. Look at that. Yeah. Uh-oh. It yeah. blew up. Confirmed. I'm, I, I'm monitoring it right now on the old <laughs> Pluto app. Oh, and there it is. It's just, uh, it plays the commercials, and then it's just this. Oh, boy. And then hacked. You know, so you might have to move to a different location. Where could you go to to watch that? Well, uh, <laughs> let's see. You could go to Blaze TV. Hey, hey. Plus. BlazeTV.com. Uh, we have a new promo code alert for new Blaze TV subscriptions. You get $30 off your BlazeTV.com subscription when you use the promo code PATBINGO30. PATBINGO30. Pat Bingo 30. It's offer is good through Wednesday, April 3rd at midnight. We have asked, uh, as we did earlier, that if mm-hmm. one of our people that wants to su- subscribe don't use the promo code because we need to purchase a new light. Oh, yes, yeah, I right. already threw it in the trash, so oh, okay. I gave up on it. Wow. Well, maybe with the extra 30 bucks, 
We could buy sure. a new one. Yeah. An entirely new one. Yeah. We'll see. Mm-hmm. But uh But again, you don't have to. BlazeTV.com, promo code PATBINGO30 for $30 yeah, off. Yeah, so if you get a uh, annual subscription, it's 120 bucks, and that gets you yeah. access to Blaze TV shows, and of course the awesome Blaze TV articles or the Blaze articles as well, and the overtimes. Overtimes. Uh, we've got a really good overtime plan for you. Uh, something that should be fun. We're interviewing Alex Jones. Uh, it's been a long moratorium on Alex Jones on this show, but we're lifting it. We're lifting the moratorium. I, I forget what's prompt, what prompted this. Was it the Sandy Hook thing? What was yeah, it? Yeah, the, the, the uh, uh, HBO series that you brought up. Oh, right. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, they're doing a documentary. Um, and so we're going to ask him about it. I don't know. Did we ask if we if, – can he talk about it? Mm-mm. Oh, he can't talk about That's, it. He cannot talk about that case. Uh, I figured that was probably the case. Yeah, so. we could talk about it. We can. Just not, oh, yeah, you just guys can right, talk about not, it. Not with him. Not with him, though. But, yeah, he can't mention it, no. I'm sure. We'll just sit there and shut yeah. up then, Alex. God, I'd like to. There's some things I'd love to know <laughs> I, about that. I bet there's a lot of things we could talk about that aren't related to Sandy. That Hall. is Absolutely. true. And there's that a couple things. Absolutely. Yeah, I could think of a couple things. <laughs> so the CIA what? Uh, yeah. C- the CIA substation. 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 This building is a CIA substation. Talk to him about that. He's got the new book, right? It's oh, yeah, he does have a new book. book. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. so, should be fun. Uh, see how his business is progressing with all the bands. You know, is he still off of YouTube? Yeah. They've, they've YouTube, never brought yeah. him back, right? No, yeah. but he's back on X. Back on X. He's and he does, you X. know, emerging broadcasts on X, so he's getting money back in. Okay. So, our plan is we're going to play part of it on the regular show, and then we're going to do it. We're going to do the interview in its entirety uh, on overtime. Awesome. And you'll have access to that if you're a Blaze TV subscriber. And right now you can save $30 on your annual subscription with Pat Bingo 30. Nice. Got some tweets here. Uniparty Monger tweets, build a wall around Washington, D.C. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> leaves. <laughs> oh, or they don't get to come in. One, one of the two. You know, keep them in their district. I thought the mayor just was quoted as saying she was told by a visiting human to D.C. Mm-hmm. how nice it was. Oh really? And uh, why? Why mm. she, that there? This uh, this tourist couldn't believe what a bad rap DC gets. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the, Look, that's what she said. The Bowser. mayor's mother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tamara B tweets: Only a Democrat would fly to Toronto, Ber- Berlin, London, or Rome to save money on your prescription. <laughs> right? I was wondering how much. Yeah, how cost? much does it cost to fly there? I know <laughs> I, that's the only thing I could think of, really. But then he got into screwing it up with or any American major city. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, just weird. Like, just weird. Uh, Anthony Osh. These AI intros for Jeffy are nice, yet nothing beats Space Odyssey. Mm. It just fits him best. We all know when hearing that it's time to chew the fat. Uh, that's true. Mm. I know. Uh, NH Pat, I guess that's New Hampshire Pathead, is today Pat Gray bingo preseason. I <laughs> already have Pat imitates Jeffy, okay. Jeffy Michigan <laughs> hand map, and Pat imitates Biden. <laughs> okay. so there you go. So those, <laughs> are, go. those are future squares that just do muck and fudge. All right. Um, can can mm-hmm. fire can away. use mm-hmm. living idiocracy. They need to charge Key and Peel for their parody of a slave auction as well. Although oh. it was quite funny. Yeah, funny uh, doesn't cut hilarious. it. Hilarious. Okay, that doesn't cut no, it. No, it doesn't. Problem is, Key and Peel are black, so you can't charge them with anything. I Correct. Think. So correct. Yeah, yeah you can't do that. <clears throat> that Massachusetts thing is as dangerous. I do not really like dangerous. that. Scary. Really I horrific. Am at all. Horrifying. It's horrifying. What kind of freak would charge them with a crime for speaking on a website? Uh, oh! <laughs> uh, liberal talking heads doing everything they can to keep, uh, you know, to keep the Trump said bloodbath thing going. My gosh, this is ridiculous. Uh, Joe Scarborough, I think this was Monday morning. Right. Uh, here's what he had to say about it. He's talking about a bloodbath for America. Mm. It's laid out in the terms of it. And these idiots uh, on Twitter, uh, these idiots uh, on, 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 on cable on, news, on, on, these on, idiots on Sunday shows, going, well, yeah, well, presidents, you, you know, right? he was talking only about the auto industry. And this is he was, one more. Dumb just moron. Bull- Let me say that at 6.15 a.m. It's just bull. 
He knew what he was doing. Wow. We're not stupid. Yeah, you, Americans yeah, you really aren't are. stupid. He was talking about a bloodbath. Sometimes a bloodbath means a bloodbath. Oh and when God. he finishes by saying, oh and gosh. that's just going to be the least of it, seriously, these people may be stupid. The auto industry We're is going to be the least of it, moron. Oh, my gosh, this guy. But well, he's conservative. He's a Republican. Yeah, he's a he's Republican. He's a I think, super I, conservative I, Republican, that guy. I, I think the biggest lie, though, that mm-hmm. he told was in the last 10 seconds uh, of that clip. Um, we can play that back. Uh, what he was doing. We're not stupid. Mm-hmm. Americans aren't stupid. Mm-hmm. He was talking about... We aren't stupid. Yeah, you are. A bloodbath. Sometimes is. a bloodbath means a bloodbath. Right and here. when he finishes by saying, and that's just going to be the least of it, seriously, these people may be stupid. We're not. Yeah, you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are. Hmm. Okay. Joe Scarborough. Really Man, bad. He, he is. So bad. He's impossible. Now let me ask you something. More people saw that right now. Yeah, than, than <laughs> actually when it was originally broadcast. That's really. true. That's true. And MSNBC being on all cable systems. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> also, Keith Olbermann yesterday. Speaking of more people see it now than they did at the time. Uh, that's for sure here. Whether Trump meant a real Whoa, bloodbath geez, or just kind of a bloodbath, a metaphorical bloodbath about foreign cars, or maybe a bloodbath in which, oh, you go in and you sit in a hot water bath so that the blood circulation improves. Yes, that's probably what he meant. Why- oh, I mean, these people are insane. <laughs> that guy needs to be committed. <laughs> Keith Olbermann either. needs to be committed. He's, got he the, is, he's unwell. He's that's got for the sure. clown glasses on. Yeah. He's got the something yeah. he needs to have. He needs to take care of the eyebrows, bro. What is his deal now? Does he have a... A show anywhere? Any, I don't think so. On anything? Does, did he? He used to do one in his basement, right? Yeah. Or in his? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. And he did in, one on the in, balcony. In his apartment that he wanted us to, yeah, to know that, is above Central he always, Park. He yeah. always just does those live sh- live hits on his balcony. I'm surprised now we're yeah. not even wandering out there. Well, it's winter. Winter. Season. Might be a little, oh, yeah. out there. little cold. A little cold for him. Uh, in fact, here's look, look at this tweet from uh, this genius, Keith Olbermann. Uh, This is amazing. First of all, the Biden-Harris headquarters tweeted out, Trump says he has been treated worse than Abraham Lincoln, who was assassinated. Olbermann tweets out, there's always the hope. Wow. Okay, so you're saying Uh, you hope he's assassinated. Is the Secret Service investigating this? No, because that's against Trump. Did they show matter. up at Central Park West and knock on his door there? Wow, bro. No Keith, hey, we'd like to talk to you about uh, potentially hoping or planning or who knows what you're doing with no the way, assassination that was, thing. That's a threat that right Trump. there. Man, Nobody. that's unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. Donald Trump. Don't worry about it. He's a uh, sad, pathetic man. So is Joe Biden. Uh, insiders right now claim... That Joe Biden has been privately seething over his disastrous poll numbers. Uh, So he's, you know, ranting and raving with his staff. He's angry and anxious about his 2024 re-election effort. He should be. I hope he is. Me too. I hope he stews about it every minute of every day. (laughs) Story comes after Biden did not get the typical polling bump after his State of the Union address last week. And his approval now sits at a new low of 37.4%. Although I did see one that's up to 47%. I don't know how that's possible. 47% approved, 51% disapproved. It was only a 4% uh, underwater approval rate. Right. Crazy. But I think the average is about 37 right now. Still too high. Uh, Reports of the president's rage date back to January when AIDS had told him his polling numbers dipped in the key swing states of Michigan and Georgia because of his handling of Israel's war on Hamas, which is... Well, yeah, I mean, that's why he went to Michigan, right? He's up there <laughs> glad-handing. He was under the uh, the guise of getting Latino votes, but, I mean, he's up there trying to win Make up with back. Muslims. Yeah. Uh, he began to shout and swear, according to NBC, citing a story that interviewed 20 lawmakers, present and past administration officials, and Biden allies. Allies claim his frustration is intensifying as he's questioning travel choices and the seeming inability to communicate his agenda to the American people. (laughs) Wait, you could have stopped that sentence at his inability to communicate. Yes. Yes. (laughs) He can. He can. 
His weak approval rating uh, is well below the last three presidents who failed to win a second term. George H.W. Bush, 39%. Jimmy Carter had a 43% approval rating. 43 for Jimmy Carter? And his November opponent, Donald Trump, was 48% at this point. Huh. Mm. Interesting. Mm. And none of the three won. He's at 37. So I would think 81 million votes from the American people is out of the question. It's probably more like 91 million now. One would think, right? thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. One would think that he couldn't get the 81. No, you wouldn't think so. You really wouldn't. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, he's allegedly unhappy with those who are described as wanting to minimize the chances of a flub up and says he's cocooned and wants to take his case to the public and antagonize Trump. And he sure is trying to do that. right? Yeah, now. he's really trying to do that. He's lying about him, lying about things he said. He's going clear back to the Normandy thing for quotes that have been long disproven. Joe, I mean, bro, they don't have a lot on your staff to work with here with you, man. No, that's, man. I cut him some slack on trying to cocoon you. Uh, he's probably a little mad at himself for not being more forceful with the staff, according to one Biden White House insider, adding that he often gets conflicting advice on how to handle the perception that he's too old to do the job. So again, it's the staff's fault. Yeah, it's, it's never his fault. He's never taken responsibility for anything. That I know of, I've never seen him say, yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's on me. That one's on me. Sorry. Never. Never. All right. Do you remember a time when vital medications didn't get rationed in the United States? I mean, what what are we talking? Yeah. Like a year ago? <laughs> Last year? <laughs> that used to be something that happened in other countries. Not here, but unfortunately, things just aren't that way anymore. This is just one reason why you need to have the Jace case on hand. It's this handy little case that comes with five antibiotics, uh, and you can do add-ons, too. You can you can get add-on medications. You can customize this to your specifications. You can get some ivermectin if you want, um, and you can be prepared for whatever eventuality. You know, your kids get sick. Somebody comes down with strep throat. You've had it a million times. Maybe you don't even want to go to the doctor. You just know what it is because you've seen it uh many many times and you just pull out the antibiotic and start taking it chase case it's simple you go online fill out a form and then get your prescription your life-saving medications delivered right to your door the chase case gives you peace of mind so you're not just hoping you're going to have access to medication in an emergency things like you know life-saving medication like amoxicillin Go to jacemedical.com, enter the promo code PAT at checkout, and you'll get a nice discount on your order. Promo code PAT at J-A-S-E, jacemedical.com. Pat Gray Unleashed. Missed an episode? Catch up anytime, anywhere podcasts are found. Pat Gray will be right back. Tweets here. Uh, Pat had T. The Massachusetts authorities are going after the students for interfering with civil rights while they're interfering with the students' civil, God-given, and constitutional rights. Uh, Roy Mazeka, those kids got that got charged with hate crimes only got in trouble because they said things about the wrong color of people. If they were saying racist stuff about white people, would have been fine. Maybe even celebrated. I mean, it's definitely possible. Yes. Yeah, it's, definitely possible. You know it's more than possible. That's absolutely the truth. So I said it was definitely uh, possible. Hogasm. The First Amendment was designed to hinder the government. Congress shall make no law. Right. Uh, James Miller. What day will the real Alex Jones interview be on Pat Gray Unleashed? No, we're not positive of that. Well, It'll sometime next week. Here's an idea. Uh, subscribe <laughs> to Blaze TV+. Plus. All right, and then, right. then you'll know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we're doing the interview today, uh, and I guess he didn't want to get up early in the morning. Wait, so. no, that's not how that went down. It's not it? how that went down? I don't think so. No. How did it go down? I don't know. Chris is not on the microphone right now, yeah. apparently. Oh. So he Chris, can't how did it go participate down? in the program that he's producing. Was Alex okay to get up early in the morning, and you <laughs> said, no, let's do it at 3 in the afternoon? How did that work? Uh, it worked like, hey... Mm-hmm. Wednesday, 3 o'clock. Can you change it? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. <laughs> okay, so right. that is kind of how yeah. it went down. Yeah, it is kind of how it went down. Do you, you really want me to push and push and push mm -hmm. and then get a no? No, Chris, no. We, we do not want you to do what producers do. <laughs> we don't want you to do Damn. that at all. <laughs> did you get Alex Let Jones or did I get Alex Jones? Did you get Alex Jones Don't even get, don't get, get me get started on this. Don't get him started on this. Uh, we because we were misled on the whole thing to begin with. No, so if we Keith, want to start a fight, Keith, let's go. Keith, what? Keith misread the oh, text oh, okay. and then sent out a text that was not even close to what I said. Yeah. So. Uh, all right, children. Way to deflect, bro. <laughs> don't bring me into this. Not that big a deal. Right. Let's, all is, Let's all relax. Let's all relax. Thank you, Dad. Because <laughs> I'm obviously, with Jeffy. I'm with Jeffy. It is. Uh, all right. Donald Trump keeps publicly calling for Joe Biden to debate him. Uh, a recent post on Truth Social from Donald Trump uh, went like this: It's time for Crooked Joe, uh, Crooked Joe Biden, and I to debate. We owe it to our country. Anytime, anywhere, hmm. any place. Well, then. It's funny you didn't feel that way earlier. It sure I is. Know. I it know. sure is. I know. Which it is. is, I mean, the, the Biden it camp is. can lean on that mm -hmm. until November. And what? America knows who mm -hmm. the difference between us. Why should I go on stage with you? Wow. Well, I mean, that was his thing. Yeah. All during the Republican nomination. You know who I am. You know where I stand. I've already been president. Okay. Well, now it's just going to yeah. be applied to him. So that is the unfortunate result of this i'm sure because joe biden doesn't want to debate no donald trump way he knows he'll get his ass kicked now, i will say he this knows i i will say this I, I maybe he doesn't maybe he believes he could do it joe uh he and, might be delusional that might enough be, that i don't know might but be his, why he's screaming his at his staff and stuff but there yeah. there's no way that he they can allow him to do that no they can't oh my gosh <laughs> it'd be you talk about a bloodbath yeah <laughs> oh Whoa. no! Oh, 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 oh. Sometimes a bloodbath is just, just a bloodbath. <laughs> Pat Gray wants you to believe he was only talking about the auto. Can we quote you on that, Joe? Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, these people are just so hypocritical and agonizing. Such lying sacks. They're just it's it's just pure evil. Uh, <laughs> it's pure evil. That's all it is. Uh, this is great, though. In uh, Washington State, if you want to be a lawyer, okay, you can be. <laughs> That's oh, awesome. really? That's yeah. it? Yeah, That's just be awesome. a lawyer. Just be a lawyer. Nobody can tell you you got to take a test. <laughs> you don't have to pass the bar That's awesome. any longer so, in Washington State. I want people to know that I'm, a, I'm an attorney. And yeah, I'm an attorney. Right. Are you going to set up a. I'm setting up a shop. I'm hanging my and, shingle. Mm -hmm, good. And I have a law degree from Washington. Spokane, <laughs> Seattle. Where do you think you'll do it? <laughs> I'm going to do it right here. I oh, just okay. have a law degree from Washington. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. The Supreme Court of Washington State ruled that passing the bar exam will no longer be necessary for law licensure since such a requirement, quote, disproportionately and unnecessarily blocks historically marginalized groups oh from entering gosh. the practice of law. You wow. have got to be kidding me. Wow. Everything we is are, racist. We are doomed. And you know what? That in and of itself is racist. Yeah. You're saying, what, minorities can't pass the bar exam? That's just BS. Of course they can and do and have. <laughs> What are you talking about? Wow. That is amazing. That's incredible. About three and a half years ago, the Washington Supreme Court created the Washington Bar Licensure Task Force, which it ordered to assess the efficacy of the Washington State Bar Licensure requirements and to suggest possible alternatives to them. Last fall, the task force settled on a list of recommendations which were then released to the public for comment. So what are the alternatives? Just, uh, okay, you're a lawyer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be a lawyer. Okay. You know <laughs> I what? I don't know if it's that simple. In, in fact, I know. Jeffy, I think but, you're Attorney General of Washington State now, just so you know. <laughs> thank you. Congratulations. Uh, thank uh, you. Uh, now you can add it to your I, uh, your portfolio uh, <laughs> of being the Pope, the NFL Commissioner, the Postmaster General, and now Attorney General of the state of Washington. I mean, that's just, that's just amazing. Now, and, and uh, so even if you pass the bar in... Mm -hmm. Different, you still have to there, different states have different rules for attorneys you can't practice yeah. there right so you, i guess you just i uh, practice pretend law in washington i, I guess so <laughs> i guess they did say 
Uh, the uniform bar exam is racially biased. It's also uh, it's racist and classist, uh, prompting race equity concerns in those wishing to advance the cause of diversity, equity, and inclusion. So it's a whole DEI thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The ruling even used a tortured metaphor that compared the legal profession in the state to a dam that has left people of color thirsty for more access to oh, legal services. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. So I would like to know what they consider uh racist in the in the, in in the, the test, test in the bar yeah. exam. Yeah, I would like to know that. I, I, I thought it too. was about law. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Uh can only white people learn law? <laughs> it just doesn't make wow. any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. Wow. Uh so Apparently, the court authorized two experiential ways okay. for earning a law license without having to pass the bar. One way involves law school graduates and upper-level students apprenticing under a supervising attorney for six months. Okay, so you got to be an apprentice. Okay, so you still have to go to law school. Yeah. The other requires law school students to complete 500 hours of hands-on practical work as well as 12 other skill credits. Okay, so it's not as easy as... I want to be a lawyer. <laughs> we're okay, getting there. you are one. We're getting there, but though. We're getting there. We are getting there. We absolutely are. This is just such insanity. Our whole society is unraveling so right I before just, our eyes. If I'm in Washington, I wonder if I'm in Washington and I decide that I don't want to do this apprentice BS, mm-hmm. can I just take the bar? Well, you know what you should say is it's racist and it's classist. I shouldn't have to apprentice. What am I? Some sort of. A slave right. here, indentured to, servant. Yeah, no. right. No, I am not. So then, that'll be eliminated as well. And then, hey, five hundred hours. What am I again? Some sort of indentured servant? <laughs> yes. So they can't make you do that either. <laughs> I don't know. Huh. It's, it's All right, you're a lawyer. Get incredible. out of here. Oh man. All right. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. There's more on the way. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. It's another outrageous un American story for you. Cops in New York have arrested a homeowner because she changed the locks on her home. To get rid of a squatter. (laughs) And she's been arrested for that. Unlawful eviction is what they charged her with. (laughs) She said, it's not fair that I, as the homeowner, have to be going through this. Oh, well. Uh, Yeah, it is, Putin. Yeah, it is. It's this is the new America, and uh, you can't hinder the squatters. How dare you try to keep them out of the home you're paying for? Who do you. you think you are? (laughs) <laughs> I wish I, I wish I had the guts to do that. I know. I wish I did because there's a lot of nice houses. I, well, first Incredible. of all, I don't have the energy to move in and out of houses all the time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not, you want to move? No, right. I do not. I do not. <laughs> but and plus, I don't understand this the whole squatting thing where they destroy. Um, yeah. why, why are you moving into a place and then just destroying? I don't, under, I don't yeah, understand. Yeah, I don't The destruction. Thing. I, I don't either. I don't either. But the owner said, uh, I'm really fearful that these people are going to get away with stealing my home. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, they are. Well, they are. They are already. The law's on their side. For whatever reason, I don't the law this. favors the criminal. Why? How did this happen? By the time someone does their investigation, their work, and their job, it will be over 30 days, and this man will still be in my home. So she decided to take matters I mean, into her own hands and change nothing. the lock. Yeah, I know. Some of these sometimes are in there for years. Yeah, It's been two, three years at times for some people. Uh, She decided to enter the property with her daughter and her property deed in hand. So she had the proof. This is proving everything I said. This is my furniture. These are my curtains. Uh, Who are you? Get out of my house, she said to the (laughs) squatter. Uh, Amazing. And... 
He, of course, apparently called the police, and they came and arrested him. We have the video from this, right? Oh, do we? Yeah, let's just play the video. This guy just forced himself into my house. No, he did not. Yes, he did. did And so did you. You broke through the front door. Officer. The man called the police on her. So why is it that I have to leave and he doesn't have to leave? Because technically he can't be kicked out. He needs to go to court. They consider this a landlord-tenant issue. Unreal. And by law, it has to be handled through the housing court, not with police. If you own this house, you would not want her inside. I don't own this house. Exactly, she does. Yes, but then once again, you should know how the law works. I do know how it works. There's rules to the as you got to go to court and send me to civil court. He says he signed a lease in October, but wouldn't tell us with who. I got proof longer than that. Show us the proof. Mm. But who are you for me to show? I showed it to cops. Dan with Channel 7 News. If you don't want to show it, you don't want to show it. Come here, brother. I like that. I would would like to see it. He didn't show me a lease. This This is a bill. A bill for work he (laughs) says he had done to the house. He didn't show police a lease either. The police department doesn't have the lease? No. He's got no documentation. Just bills. So, Adele, you're getting arrested right now? Being arrested. For what? For being in my house, For being in my own home. And, not, and where's your lease? She's fighting the house. It's not her house anymore. My deed That's is current and legal. Arrested for unlawful eviction. Wow. She changed the locks on a man who claims he lives there. I, I can't believe it. What do you even say to that? I, I don't know. You say know. America is gone. I mean, it's just God. a memory at this point. Some good times. Though. I mean... <laughs> Am I right? There were some good we times. We had some good times. Yeah, we had some be, good times. Right? Did we? Yeah, we had some. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't anymore, but there, we used to have some good here times. And there. There, the, the million dollar idea is to create, I think we talked about this before, is to create the business of uh, just take care of the squatters for homeowners. Mm-hmm. Uh, squatter removal. Mm-hmm. Squatter removal. Jeffy squatter removal yeah. services. Mm-hmm. I can't say that too mm-hmm. fast. I mean, if you've got a legal deed and it's clearly legitimate that should be it get out to the other guy you would think common sense get out would prevail of her house right but he claims that he signed a lease he doesn't have documentation show it he doesn't have I'm any not, documentation i'm not saying that he did i'm just saying so because of that no. now you're going through the whole you know the whole process no I'm not. I'm changing the law. Because that one guy, I'm the story, the one guy, uh, they did, Jeez. I forget how many years he was in this house without <clears> paying <throat> anything. He moved in mm-hmm. and then they tried to evict him and then he filed a lawsuit against that eviction, which then extended everything. And then they he ended up not going to court. So then they filed another injunction and then he filed another law. I mean, it just went on and on forever mm-hmm. and ever. And he's living there for <clears throat> nothing yeah. all, this, all these years. Right. It was, I mean, it's, it's incredible. And you can't cut utilities. You can't cut anything. Yeah. Right. And they don't have to pay for it. When I first moved into my neighborhood, uh, there was a very uh, well-known squatter family mm. who'd been there for six months. What? In a pretty darn nice house. And they just moved in. And the owners were, like, trying desperately to get them out. Yeah, I remember the story, yeah. And because it's Texas, they finally just, the police did show up. With a moving company, and they put all their stuff out on the lawn. And like, okay, you're gone now. So in Texas, that now that was 12 years and ago. How, I don't know if that could happen anymore. How many months of free expenses did this like family months. get? Yeah, I mean, it was, you know, it was it's like, like eight months. Wow, you sure could save a lot of money if you didn't have a house payment or rent for sure eight could. months. You, you know, sure in hindsight, could. there was that little mini mansion that was right behind the, those baseball fields there uh, in South Lake, uh, just off 114. And uh, it was vacant for the longest time. And, and, I'm, and, just hi- and hindsight, you why wasn't in. I in that house? That's what right? I mean. I, I wish I, I, <laughs> I could have done it. And, I that, know. and see, that's the thing. I say it jokingly. <laughs> uh, you know, It's like, what is the incentive to do the right thing in this country anymore? On so many levels. So many levels. You're losing the incentive to do what's right. Mm-hmm. It's just... This country is... How many is it? 1,200 of those squatter situations in Atlanta in alone? In Atlanta alone. Oh, alone. And, yeah. And yeah. 12... That, that may just be DeKalb County. 100. That's just yeah. one county. I mean, who knows? Those, those are just what we know of. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's And it's because the law favors them. And so, just imagine that. Mm. Let's just... 
Never mind New York City, Nuts. Texas, whatever. We're just talking about DeKalb County and Metro Atlanta, 12,000. That is 12,000 homeowners. 1,200, I think. Who, or, or is it 1,200? Yeah, okay. 1,200. 1200. Whatever, 1200, that's yeah. fine. 1,200 homeowners there that are having to, to put up expenses, yeah. waste their time, their energy, lose their yes. faith in the justice mm-hmm. system, in humanity, quite frankly, and multiply that across this nation. Again, I ask, what is the incentive to do the right thing And anymore? they have no income coming into a place right. that you know, they're trying to rent out. And then you need to call Jeffy's squatter hardship yeah, services. I know. I'm, I'm yeah. serious. Like that is a. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know your business. Be a plan. thriving business in and Atlanta. I don't, I don't know what they do exactly. At, you don't uh, want to know. You don't want to know. Yeah, you just, just sign, sign here. Sign here. <laughs> and to be fair, the laws that they're using wasn't meant for squatters. It was for people not to get kicked out of their homes without yeah. the proper right. But they found a loophole. That's what they did. They found a loophole. You can't evict yep. me. Stay Damn lawyers. Court. Yep. <laughs> and government is always Those damn lawyers that took the to bar. <laughs> you know, you know, the government will react quickly to create a problem, mm. but then it's like st- turning a ship around to correct their stupid yeah. problem that they created. It takes weeks, months, years <sighs> in some cases. It's crazy. And in some cases you got uh, homeowners just pay out. Okay, how much do you want? Right. Yeah. I'll right. pay you out. Right. Well, how the much guy do you in want? Portland. Remember the guy in Portland? 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 Please don't ruin my home mm-hmm. on the yeah. way out because they always do. Yeah, here's ten thousand dollars because that's what happened to the guy in Portland. Ten thousand yep. dollars, and he got to live there for like six months. Mm-hmm. And they paid him to and get they out. Paid finally? him to get out. <laughs> so it paid off. It then paid off nicely. That, that could be an option for my squatter removal business, but not. That's not the first option. <laughs> well, that's not the first option. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's great. Yeah, it's going <laughs> it's really stuff, well. It's going right? really well right now. Uh, will things improve if uh, Donald Trump is elected? Yes. Will they improve yes. enough? I sure hope, hope so. Because so. we we need some changes to be made here uh, in in some course correction. Um, apparently, Vivek Ramaswamy has been discounted. Trump has said he's not going to be the vi- vice president, oh. not going to be VP. But he's got some other things in mind apparently for him. You know, it'd be great is if he was press secretary. Would yeah. he make the greatest press secretary of all time? That's beneath. That's Vivek, beneath him, though, right? Yeah, maybe. I don't know, but he'd be a really Vivek good one. Swami. He's so well spoken. He'd be a really good one. I feel would, like that's a slap. You'd in never his get face. an um from him. Right. I feel like that's right. a slap or, in his face. Uh, I don't have any information on that. I got. No, I just have nothing to share with you. Circle Let me back. circle back on that. Hold, hold, hold on. Hold on, Jeffy. What is the best role for a Vivek? I Ramaswamy? don't know. I'm not. I'm not quite sure what that would be. But press. Uh, what do you want him to do? I don't. I think the rumor okay, is I Homeland. Don't know. Uh, homeland Secretary. Security. Yeah. Chief. Okay. Secretary I mean, of Homeland that's, Security. That, that's not. Maybe. That's not. It's not terrible. A low level position. No. It's not. Neither is press secretary. It is kind of. No, it's a high profile position. Uh, it's a uh, high profile. Uh, Look how often we talk about KJP. Probably more than, it, certainly more than any of the other Biden administration officials. Well, that's kind of true. Yeah. So, shut up. Wow. So that's a no for HUD, <laughs> Secretary of the HUD. Yeah, no for HUD. No, oh. I, I don't. I don't think so. I still think it's beneath him. Do you press yeah. secretary? But Homeland Security Chief, not? It was some kind of cabinet position. It still okay. works. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you know that the majority of your grocery store's meat aisle was imported from some random country or countries overseas? Did you know that? I did yeah. not. Yeah. It's just some kind of mystery meat. Uh, it's like armadillo or something. We don't even know. Not even Texas armadillo, though. It's like, you know, Botswanian <laughs> armadillo. Oh, that's, see, that's tough. Mm, I don't like that. No, it's it's a lot of gristle Does in that. Does it still have, like, the <laughs> USA sticker it. on it or anything? <laughs> yeah, it could, it could. It could say product of the USA, mm-hmm. but that just means it was packaged here. So they got oh. the armadillo from Botswana, and then they just said, yeah, well, we packaged it here, so it's a product <laughs> oh, of the U.S. Cool. So you're fine. You don't have to worry about that with Backyard Butchers. Uh, it's a Christian conservative Texas-based company dedicated to delivering the best deals in the market on high-quality beef. Your box will include all born and raised American beef from ranchers right here in the heartland of America. Backyardbutchers.com. Delivering American-raised and harvested meat from right here in our American backyards to dinner tables across the nation. Backyard butchers will only source beef and chicken from American farms and deliver the cuts right to your doorstep every month. Grass-fed and grain-finished, 
This meat tastes amazing. It's fantastic. Backyard Butchers is on a mission to bring American-raised, harvested, and affordable meat back to your dinner table. So go to backyardbutchers.com slash unleashed. You'll get 20% off your whole order right now. And when you you subscribe, you'll get an additional 10% off and free shipping. So go to backyardbutchers.com slash unleashed. Get 20% off your whole order. That's backyardbutchers.com slash unleashed. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. I think we talked about the uh, Hertz move to buy... Was it twenty thousand electric vehicles? Yeah, and then they then they uh, they canceled a, a bunch of a partial. Part now of they're that order. selling twenty thousand electric vehicles. <laughs> well, and and they're giving the CEO the boot. Yep. That is the worst run company in the history of oh, companies, man. My gosh, <laughs> they've gone from number one right to I don't know where they are now, but Look, they're he nowhere bought, near he number bought one. Into what the admi- this administration was preaching yeah. yep. with the electric cars, and yep. he didn't think for himself. So they're tr- they were trying to transition 25% of their fleet to EVs by the end of this year. <laughs> uh, amazingly, nobody wanted them. Yeah, nobody wanted them. By the way, they're selling them for $20,000, the lowest Tesla. $20,000. Oh, really? Yeah, because I've, I've been looking to see hmm. if they drop prices, but $20,000. That's a new Tesla or Hertz is That's dumping a Hertz, their feet? Oh, okay. A Hertz Tesla. Tesla. So hmm. it still may have some miles on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, used. That's not even the top of the line Tesla? Uh, no, it was all base models. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. What do they go for normally? Uh, 30 to 40, depending on how much you so add on. So that's not on. bad. Well, it depends on how many miles are on yeah. it, I suppose. Not but, bad. Uh, but they originally agreed to purchase 100,000 Teslas <laughs> and 65,000 Polestar vehicles over the next few years. They've reevaluated yeah. that EV investment. Yeah, you I know mean, what? No. The no. entire industry is actually re-evalued. Uh, e- yes. E- all of it. Yes. I mean, it's uh, they're like, okay, let's calm down a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's cost, the C- like you mentioned, the CEO is leaving. Yeah, have a nice day. But he's out. by now, uh, you really screwed up. It, you know, and he's not the only one. Everybody no, he's not. miscalculated on this EV thing. They should have known. Americans want convenience. Okay? We don't I don't want to be stranded in the middle of nowhere with no charger that works around me. And I don't want to sit somewhere for 45 minutes or an hour and a half or whatever it takes to recharge this thing while I've got my thumb up my rectum. I, I don't want to wow. do that. <laughs> I, I, we don't. I don't do we that. don't. No. Americans don't, don't want, want to, do, to do, do that. We don't. And th- then, you know, you haven't even gotten into the environmental stuff. And it's already been proven that yeah. things are worse for the environment. Of course. Start to finish than the combustion And engine. the infrastructure. And all of it. All of it. Uh, all of it. It's all just, of it. Uh, uh, the mining, the the actual emissions that come off the brakes and all of the stuff that's flying off that vehicle. The weight of the vehicles, <laughs> the wear and tear on the roads, the wear yep. and tear on all the uh, all guardrails. Bad. All of it. Then yeah. what do you do when you – how do you jettison all these – millions of batteries that have to wind up somewhere. Good luck with that. Yeah, yeah. And Chris informs me that, uh, what do you say, Ford has lost $4.5 billion in In 2023. In 2023. Just in EV. Now, I'm reading an article right now. Wow. Now, this is from (coughs) December, so it's a few months old. I couldn't find a more recent one. But the Build Back Better bullcrap that was supposed to take your tax dollars and convert them into electric chargers nationwide, half a million. Half a million were supposed to right. be uh, placed around uh, seven. Which point, is BS. Seven point five billion dollars from your taxes earmarked mm. for these half a million chargers. Uh, they in as of uh, late December, they had zero of those in place. <laughs> they're zero. getting on it though. Oh they're man, they're getting on it now. They're, they're, yeah, they're, they're getting right after. There it. are companies that Good. are coming along with uh, you know putting charging stations in. Uh, you know, to try to try to help it. Why along would you do that bit. when the government is going to install five hundred thousand? Well, I mean, of them. they're they're looking for why would you the do kickbacks it? from the government yeah. for doing it, right? I mean, that's I guess I, I, I guess right. But Tesla doesn't need to put any up anymore. The, the government's going to do it for them. I mean, it's well, asinine. I don't know. They don't like Elon anymore. No, they so. don't. No, they don't. So we'll see what happens there. But jeez, it's amazing. All right. Uh, yesterday or the day before. On Keith's Twitter page, uh, 
Mm. The worst president of all time bracket. Yeah, was we revealed. did a selection show. We did a selection show over at Keith Mallon. Was that Monday? Uh, on Monday. And so we revealed the selections. And so the bracket is out. And you can go and uh, you can uh, print yours out if you would like to participate. Uh, and every day we'll have a, a vote. So, like, <clears> you <throat> see, the first round, uh, starting tomorrow, Woodrow Wilson is going to take on Franklin Pierce. You, that's, a, that's a one seed versus a four One seed. versus a four, right, right. It gets a little tougher there. Franklin <laughs> Roosevelt takes on Richard Nixon uh, on Friday. And then, again, you're going to decide the votes every day uh, as we go along. Biden, Bush, Jackson, Buchanan, Obama versus Taft. That should be a blowout. Uh, uh-huh. Carter Hoover is going to be quite an intense matchup <laughs> next week. Uh, Lyndon Johnson is going to take on Abraham Lincoln, who uh, snuck in. I can't in believe you got Abraham right. Lincoln. Oh, you can believe uh, it. If listed you see. among the worst presidents oh, when he's goodness. by far one of the best presidents. I love it. So the, you, you'll vote, obviously, in the tournament to try to sway uh-huh. that. I'm not crazy about having Taft on this list, to uh, be honest with you. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> Bill Clinton versus uh, Benjamin because he's a kindred Harris. spirit for you, right? Okay. Yeah. Just, William Howard Taft. So every spirit. day there will be a different uh, contest as we roll along. Between mm-hmm. now and April 8th, uh, pinned to the top of my Twitter page at Keith Malinek. And so I uh, hope you'll participate and we'll figure hmm. out uh, scientifically okay. who the worst president of all time is. You don't even have Buchanan on here, who many experts Oh, he's feel. on there. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's on there. Oh, uh, where? Oh, he's matched up against uh, Andrew Jackson. I mean, it's okay. going to be a tough oh, first that's round. That's a that, tough battle. That, that's a tough yeah, draw. A that is a yeah. tough battle. Because a lot of people think Andrew Jackson was a great president. Mm, no. No, he wasn't. <laughs> really not. He a ruled with an iron. Fist. And you know, it's always important to see where the final four is going to be held. Uh, you'll see April second through fifth. It's going to be in Hades. But uh, the championship matchup, you have three days to vote in the inner sanctum of Hades, <laughs> is where we're going to decide this thing uh, <laughs> by April eighth. So get to at right. Keith Malinak on Twitter. Hope you'll participate. It's going to be a lot of fun mm. to see how this plays out. Man. Um, just trying to see. Okay, really easy one and four with Wilson Pierce. For okay, me. Wilson Pierce. Uh, yeah, Wilson. Who you know, is that? Obviously, uh, Roosevelt Nixon. I have to go FDR on that. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Biden. Bush, Hello, George Biden. W. Bush. Yeah, I mean Biden by a mile. Yeah, I, 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 that's what I would suggest. I mean, so we're looking at we're looking at what probably uh, the final. The championship's going to be what, Biden? I think the one seeds make it through. On my bracket, I filled out a bracket, and I got Wilson versus Biden in the uh, final four. And on the other side, you've got uh, Obama versus Johnson. But I don't know. uh, Clinton might sneak through. Uh, Who knows? Yeah, Lyndon Johnson... That's he deserves oh, yeah, he a one does. seed. He does. So yeah, I he does. I I personally predict, and I'm not trying to sway anyone's opinion. I mm-hmm. think it's going to be Biden over uh, Lyndon Johnson in the uh, championship. Over Obama? I don't know. I, That'll I think, be tough. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how people. Uh, as uh, my co-host for that uh, selection show, uh, Tank Spencer said, recency bias could really come into play on a lot of these. Uh, <laughs> Good. Yeah, it could. Contests. People forget how bad Lyndon Johnson was. A. Yeah. Racist douchebag. Oh gosh. B. Terrible policies. Mm-hmm. Three. Vietnam immersed yeah. us in that so deeply that we couldn't extract ourselves for 13 years. Uh, and then you know you've got all the Great Society garbage oh, that gosh. has cost us trillions cost us and trillions, trillions of dollars. Costs. Created um, federal bureaucracies that are entrenched till the end of time in our government. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, he just reinforced and made worse everything FDR started. Yeah, and he would uh, obviously he destroyed the black family with the Great Society. Yep. And uh, yes, he, he would hold meetings in his bathroom while he sat on the toilet, and if you didn't look at him, he would be like, "Hey." Look over here. It's like, what are you doing? Sick. He's just a gross He's human a being. And guy. I think the worst, I think the I mean, biggest. You have to hold meetings. What biggest is your deal? Issue is, <laughs> uh, He's a busy man. Don't forget. Just wait a minute till you get off the throne. He's a don't busy forget, man. Get don't, off the throne. And don't and... forget, he would pick his dog up by its ears. Uh, so, again, when geez. it's Obama and Lyndon Johnson in the final four. Uh huh. There's some things to keep in mind about LBJ, but you know, having our first Marxist president, I mean, that's quite a qualifier too for Barack. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it I mean, is. there's a lot of things yes, to consider, and there will be uh, mm. each day when I tweet out the the poll for that day. There will be a little uh, tournament synopsis that w- what got them into the tournament, okay. so that you can go, oh, that's oh, I didn't realize that. So yeah, hmm. Ooh, Woodrow Fun. Wilson's got lots of talking points. Okay, now when you get down to to Biden versus let's say LBJ, mm-hmm. that's a tough decision. Yeah, it is because as bad as bad as Biden is. That's hard to top just the absolute catastrophe that was LBJ. Yes. 
but it's hard. Yes. You get the recency bias. Yes, yeah. that's true. As Tank pointed out uh, true. when we did the selection show, I mean, you could consider his possible involvement in the uh, assassination and at least the cover up. Of oh, JFK. Of JFK. Yes, you oh. could. No. Here I mean, there go. is so much. What do you mean, here we go? Here we go. What do you oh, mean? Oh, okay. here we go. You're trying to influence the, the bracket <laughs> now. Okay. <laughs> I have My hands are clean now. The bracket's out there. Now it's up to the people to get in there and make the decision. You know what's interesting? You see that comparison between um, the, the uh, JFK assassination and the... Abraham Lincoln yeah. assassination mm-hmm. and all the coincidences yeah. there. But Johnson's took over in both cases and Johnson's may have been involved yeah. in both, both assassinations. Interesting. 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 And at the end of this month, we talk about the <laughs> yep. assassination. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, next week. This month. Next yeah. week, JK. Okay. And I forgot on, on Lyndon Johnson, I'm just looking at his talking points here. Uh, don't, you know, war on poverty, obviously. But he was tied at the hip with J. Edgar Hoover in, in, the, in so many things, but to destroy Martin Luther King. I mean, there's mm. so much with Lyndon Johnson. So you talk much. about someone who pulled so the much. wool over bad a guy, populace. really bad guy. Mm-hmm. Mm. And fortunately, he didn't run again. He probably would have won a- another he may term. Have. He probably would have won, but fortunately, he didn't run in '68. Uh, it was Hubert Humphrey, and nobody wanted him. Uh, thank goodness. <laughs> Oh, but we man. got Nixon, who also ended up in the yeah, worst presidents true. of all time bracket. That's true. You take us off the gold standard, man. You, not you good. get in. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> really not a conservative guy for a Republican. No, he gave us the EPA. He gave us OSHA. Yeah, not good. <laughs> all right. We will uh, have uh, overtime coming up in a few minutes. Back here tomorrow for Packer and Leash. See you all these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by... This is Pat Gray Unleashed.